Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Daz. Together we are the Office Blokes. We are. Yep. It is Correct. a true statement. Um, what are we doing over on Patreon at the moment? Does anyone know? We're doing full episode watch-alongs of Family Guy and the American Office. American Office on Wednesdays. Have you said, is it have called you the American Five Office? Or is it called the Office? Uh, the Office US. Right. I think it's called, but people yeah. call it the US Office. Right. They do. General. Yeah, and then uh, obviously Family Guy watch alongs at five o'clock on Saturday evenings, uh, oh. UK time. Yeah, uh, you can do that if you go to Patreon. Uh, it's one pound fifty a month, and you get all of that. It's crazy. Isn't There's it? loads of other stuff on there. I've got loads of posts on there. So yeah, there you go. Right then, um, when entitled women think they're smarter than cops. When entitled think, women think anything. <laughs> it's, it's just entitled people in general, yeah, isn't it? It yeah. is really, think, yeah. I don't mind just picking on women because I mean, there's plenty no, of blokes that are like that as well, is. to be fair. You know what it is? I think potentially men are bigger consumers of this sort of content ah, on YouTube. Right, so it's okay. more of a clickbaity title to get the men in. I was at the, uh, I was at the football on Saturday and uh, it was at the end of the game and the, the pub had died down a little bit. So you could hear quite a lot of conversations going because everyone gets loud because everyone's had a beer. And there was someone, we had a table of about... Must have been about twelve of us on our table, so I think we were quite a rowdy table, I guess. But yeah. then there was another table on the other side. And I heard someone go, "Do you know who I am?" And everyone on our table went, "Ronnie Pickering!" <laughs> at the same time, <laughs> <laughs> it was proper funny. Oh, he must have yeah. shut up. He must have, yeah. The whole pub went quiet. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone on our pub must have heard it at the same time. And just yeah. all went, "Ronnie Pickering!" I, oh, I no, saw sure. a video yesterday of this. Like, he sounds French, but this kid that's really entitled going up to bouncers. You know, and he's like, do you not know who I am? My I, my family are the richest family in Europe and I can buy this club. And <laughs> Last one's well, to do it to his bouncers. <laughs> they just oh, have yeah. no patience. But it's like, obviously, swanky places. Yeah. And uh, Is it just set up that thing? Because I saw... I don't think it is. I saw I something to... on Instagram where... He Wait, said, you're on Instagram? Well, not really, but... He yeah. <laughs> it, it was trying to buy... A Ferrari. Ferrari. Yeah, it's that, that, that guy. Ferrari. It's that guy, I've yeah. seen it. He goes yeah. in and it's like, I want that Ferrari. And then they're like, no, that's not for sale. And he's like, get me your boss, get me your manager. But, yeah. I think it's real. But I don't, I don't know, I looked into it and I thought, mm, I think it's bullshit, so I didn't look at it anymore. I checked out the comment section but, and a lot of people were commenting saying it was real, but I don't know. Mm. But the point was, in the comment section, because he's going, do you know who I am? Ronnie Pickering, Ronnie Pickering, Pickering. Yeah, Ronnie yeah, Pickering. Yeah. Ronnie I just Pickering. heard it, right, right at the corner of my ear, I just heard it. And then someone, every, the whole table said it, everyone on the table. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know, anyone out there that knows if that guy's real or not, because if he is... Ronnie Pickering? Yeah, Ronnie yeah, Pickering. He's real. The, the guy trying to buy the Ferrari and all that sort of stuff because it's, yeah, it's mean. awful to watch. Mm. It's like, if that is a real guy, that's bad. Yeah. It's such a bad look. Anyway, let's do it. When entitled women think they're smarter than the cops. People often overestimate their abilities when they run into the law, with some thinking they can outsmart cops. So what happens when it's entitled women that learn this lesson the hard way? Can I just, like, get these handcuffs, like, off me? It's a joke. These are three examples of this, starting with the most controversial of the bunch. On the 22nd of October 2022, a man called police after hearing a car crash into the side of his house. So you didn't see the crash? You heard it? No, I heard it, and I looked and heard the car against my house. What did she look like, the one driving? Dark hair. Dark hair. Nice looking girl. Nice looking girl. What was she wearing? Black. Well, my wife said black, black. Oh, black. This has technically become a manhunt now, as the driver is nowhere to be seen and has fled the scene of a crime. The cops spend some more time questioning the homeowners before searching the vehicle. It turns out the woman had left her purse behind, which contained her driver's license and multiple other forms of identification. Now the cops had a name, Stacy, as well as a picture of her. The cop found it odd she'd leave her purse behind as it implied she was planning on coming back to the crash, but just a few minutes later, the cops would receive damning evidence that this this wasn't the case. Hi there. How are you doing? Not too bad, are you guys? Good. The reason I ended up pulling you guys over, um, you guys were coming from that area over there. Mm -hmm. Did you end up just getting in a crash? No, we live around there, but yeah. What's your name? My name? Yep. Stacy. Time for I've got her over here. It is Stacy. Okay. So, Stacy, can I have you come out of the car so I can talk to you a little bit more? It's already obvious that she's not exactly sober, mm. but what's shocking mm. is how she was undoubtedly trying to flee the scene. She'd left her purse, ID, and vehicle behind that's actually registered to her. It wouldn't have been long before the police wow. were at her door with more than a couple of questions. Now the police have her at the side of the road to ask her what happened, but it seems she has a plan to try and outsmart the cops by refusing to tell the truth. Are you ready to be honest with me now? Yeah. Okay, so what happened? What do you mean? What happened with the crash? What crash? 
You ended up hitting a tree. Do you remember that? No. No? You're not going to be honest with me right now? Well, I mean, I'm a neighbor not... said said they saw you get picked up. Huh? A neighbor said they saw you get picked up. Okay. Well, I mean, that's fine. So I'm giving you a chance to kind of give me your side of the story of what's going on right now. I mean, there's really no side of the story to give. I, mean, I don't understand what you want me to give to give you. Okay. Well, I want you to be honest with me. That's what I want you to give me. Well, I. There's nothing to be honest about. I mean. Stacy seems to think that she didn't do anything wrong, or at least believes that she can lie and outsmart the cop by telling a different story. But remember, the homeowners told the cops that they saw a young woman wearing exactly what Stacy is wearing exit the vehicle and leave the scene. It's pretty obvious that she's lying, but Stacy doesn't seem to realize this and continues to lie through her teeth to the officer. The truth is, like, my car is like probably at my house and uh you know i'm sitting here with my dad well the house that you crashed into they talked to you and tried to get you to stay there well i didn't crash into anybody's neighbors your car is stuck in their house well that's hearsay uh, was somebody else driving your car no absolutely not so it was just you driving well i wasn't driving but no. you just told me absolutely not nobody else was driving the conversation goes in circles for around 10 minutes with Stacy continuing to spew confusing statements at the cops the whole time. And what's worse is that at one point, she even tried throwing her dad under the bus by saying he was driving. No, uh, like, I was like I said, not I'm driving. Not, I'm not gonna argue with you about that. My dad was driving. Okay, you, your dad already confirmed that he was not driving the black car. No, he was, so. He, he's driving the vehicle. And um, so, I mean, what can I do? Okay. I don't want to... Right now, what you can do is you can give me uh, an answer on whether you would want to do some field testing. Right no, now. I don't want to because he was, he's the guy that was driving the, you know... So you're passing your he, options he was... to do the field testing? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So at this point, you're going to be under arrest, okay? Why? Because you, you're very intoxicated. Stacy is quickly searched and then put in the back of a patrol vehicle, but before they can take her back to the station, they have to give her dad the bad news. Based on what happened, I believe she was into a couple of crashes. Um, she hit a tree in a house. Um, oh my God. Somebody he knows. Of course she does. He absolutely. Yeah. You know, look at the look on his face. I'm really surprised, to be fair. Wow. Mm, he looks. He, Looked like he was acting surprised, but he kind of mm. looked away and looked back. So, I'm sort of surprised a little bit it took him that long to get the cuffs on her and mm. he'd ask her these questions where she was clearly lying and going around the houses. Yeah, I think they gave I her a chance. They, I thought he might have cut to the chase or sort of yeah, giving her rope, maybe. Well, mate, yeah, mm. yeah, good point. I think yeah. she's also visibly shit-faced. Mm. Yeah. So it's like 10 minutes here or there, it doesn't matter. Yeah, when she gets back to You're the station, right there, she's because, over. Because she changed the story halfway through, yeah. didn't she? And so... Plus, if she comes clean on the body cams, it's kind of done half the paperwork for you, I'd yeah. imagine, by yeah. the time you get to yeah. the station. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then put in the back of a patrol vehicle, but before they can take her back to the station, they have to give her dad the bad news. Based on what happened, I believe she was into a couple of crashes. Um, she hit a tree in a house. Um, oh, my God. Somebody the house itself? Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else show up with her when she got there? No. Did she say she was with somebody? Yeah, it's, uh, she babbled something. I work, and then, you know, and I couldn't make sense of anything. Sure. She was probably so worked up. And... Can you please inform me of what I'm being charged with? Yep, I, I told you it's uh, going to be an OWI. It'll be fourth. A fourth OWI. But I wasn't driving. And you did hear fourth. that right. This was her fourth drunk driving charge, proving precisely what type of person Stacy really is. Yeah. And of course, she also caught a hit and run charge for fleeing the scene after causing property damage. But Stacy wasn't nearly as entitled as this next girl, who had a plan to get out of her reckless driving charge. I'm too cute for prison. Don't do that to me. On January 5th, 2022, officers responded to a car accident. As soon as they got on the scene, they were given some useful intel by a witness she's drunk and she already said that i don't want to get a dwi okay okay in a single car okay thank you was she in on in the wrong no, lane no. no she was on that side See, i was coming this way right right before the curve and she pulled around me i mean pulled around me pulled around another car to make the curve 
jump see, scare, see, see, see her trying yeah. spot there, hit the curve, and then slack this. The car, I don't know what to feel for. It sounds like this driver completely lost control of the vehicle and was lucky nobody else got hurt. But if they want to understand exactly what happened here, they're going to have to talk to the driver, and it doesn't take long for them to figure out the situation. So they said you're, you're not having anything medical no, sir. That would no, sir. okay now just based on this driving behavior I know. and what people have been saying when we came on scene um which we wanted to take some standardized test how much have you had to drink today not very much okay what is not very much like the legal limit okay which is what like very, not very much because i ate and i drank okay. water between the two the driver is being honest and complying with the cops request to take a field sobriety test but unfortunately the sobriety test quickly shows the cops that even if she's acting nice she's still a criminal that put many other lives in danger all right man go ahead and put your hands behind your back for me okay you're being placed under arrest for dui all right i'm gonna have to pat you down before i put you in my unit okay the cop pats the girl down before placing her in the back of his patrol car and reading her her rights. But this is when she starts to put her plan into action that she thinks will cut her loose. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. God. You don't, you don't need to apologize. You know, I'm doing my job, that's all. I know, and I respect that. I respect. Have you ever been arrested for a DWI before? No, sir. I've never been arrested, period, so. I hope at least I'm like one of the cuter people that you've had in your cop car. <laughs> Do not confirm or deny, please. Oh uh, yeah, I can't talk about that. Yeah, you can. For illegal purposes. <laughs> I'm too cute for prison. Don't do that to me. Anyways, I'm sorry you're stuck with me though. That's alright, you know. I'm I've been, like I said, with words. Back at the station, the seduction doesn't stop. All right, so I'm going to count this in front of you. I remember you. You would come up to the Ocotillo with your face mask, and I'd be like, that one is so fine. Yeah. And then, like, respectfully, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Obviously, because, like, I'm a mess right now. You had your face mask on, but I was like, that one is so fine. Yeah, don't worry about it. Let's get back to business, though. Obviously, nobody wants to date anyone that's looking like this, so, yeah. You are such a happy man. Oh, Respect thank you. Totally. I appreciate that. I do. Okay. I'm getting prepared. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't need I hope I haven't did, been disrespectful. No, if I haven't haven't been disrespectful. Shut up. Talk. But even as she waited for her <laughs> medical <laughs> examination, she couldn't resist flirting with the officers in an attempt to lessen her sentence. What do you say? Yes. You're there, so go ahead. Oh. Okay. Maybe a little. <laughs> You're right. Hey, hey, come over here. This way. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just want to say hi. <laughs> I'm sorry. Keep wild then. Just come over here. I'm sorry. You lead the way. Yeah, just have a seat. Right. How the hell am I supposed to know? Hi, Daddy. What are you doing? I'm a fallon now. Oh, why you should? I still have to triage. Oh, yeah. Look how pink it is. Okay. Because, because, you. because you're so cute, sir. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hey. She's driving me mad. I know. Oh. It's so annoying. <laughs> I know what, I know what her punishment should be. Apart from disqualifying from driving and shave one of her eyebrows off. <laughs> just one of them. Yep. What about glue some on in the middle Not so permanent. she's got a mono? No, just a permanent <laughs> removal of one, one eyebrow. <laughs> Fair play. Might as well choose to be happy if you're in a shit situation. <laughs> you should be. Plus, I got stuck with this cutie. Uh, I got stuck with the cutest part. Thankfully, this didn't seem to change anything in her charges, as she was hit with an aggravated DWI and reckless driving. Many people are critical of this girl's actions, but positivity and attempted seduction is much more preferable to violence and hostility, and especially preferred over this. Stop right now! This time, the officers were called into a domestic violence case between a male and a female. As the cops arrived, the officers noticed the woman disengaging and walking away from the scene. Miss, stop! Stand there. Okay, I won't. Stand there. Stand there. Stand there. The cops yelled at her to stop. Boyfriend says, please don't tase her. And you go, what? She's got a taser. <laughs> but before they could react, she started to sprint away from them. Put your hands behind your back. I can't, I can't. Please stop. Put your hands Please, behind I your back. I'm not 
Sorry, please stop. Can do it now. I can't breathe. Put your hands behind your back right now. Please. My hair is in my face. Okay. Please. Put your other hand behind your back. Hey, step back. Looks like her master plan didn't work out too well. The cops have dealt with plenty of cases like this and know they will have to be firm with the woman or else she'll keep screaming and resisting. Do not pull away from me. Do you understand? You are under arrest. You are going to comply. You are not going to pull away from me. Resist and then yeah, you fucking deal with it. Tell me how you feel on a daily basis, bitch. <laughs> what is your name, miss? I don't have a fucking name. Okay. Strange well, you do. <laughs> no, I don't. Stop trying to pull away from me. My okay? hair's in my goddamn mouth, dude. As usual, before the cop can leave her in the car, he has to search her, something she seems to be heavily against. Hold still, please. No, you're not supposed to be doing that. Then stop fighting you're me. You're a man! You cannot Tough fucking shit. touch me! Tough shit, right you now it's all we got. You cannot touch me! It's all no, we got. You need to get her over here! You cannot touch me! <laughs> Stop it. Stop Rich fucking touching me! Stop it. You cannot touch me! Jenna! Don't you kick me or you're gonna go to the ground again! Fuck. Get over here! Fucking you just added another charge by kicking me, by the way. With the help of a female officer, they finally managed to search the girl and get her secured in the patrol car. So they decide to talk to a couple witnesses to get extra insight on what happened. I was sitting in front of my window and they came with the stop sign. Identification. Basically, she was all over him. He didn't really or do anything. Like it. But she kept grabbing him, ripped his shirt open, kept jumping on top of him, trying to get him to the ground. They finally did get to the ground, <clears> but then came back up and wouldn't let him leave or anything else. Well, at first I'm like, is he just screwing around? Yeah. And, Cause she was all over him. And okay. I, you said, you, she said she was like jumping on his back or yeah. something? Yeah. Okay. And then she kept well, grabbing at his throat. Jim Charles Adam and like, Mary I'm Paul calling Tom it soon. With this, the case seemed open and shut. So the cops took the woman back to the station. It's got like wow. a radio as well. It looked like yeah. he had a walkie-talkie and an ID in his hand. Yeah, his ID, yeah. yeah. You know, like, neighborhood patrol. Yeah. <laughs> 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 ...where she was charged with felony battery of an officer, as well as misdemeanor counts of resisting and disorderly conduct. Various pieces of drug paraphernalia mm. were also found on her person, which she was also charged for. Most of the charges were eventually dropped, except for the disorderly conduct and resisting counts. Do you enjoy true crime videos like this? Yeah, I think yeah. another 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 uh, like uh, sentence you should get like oh I don't know what that sentence <laughs> obscure like punishment a, punishment you should get is uh, if you found with drugs on you right you have to take them <laughs> all of them at all once. of them yeah yeah <laughs> you've got to take them all before before you go to jail a guy that I grew up with when he was nine got caught smoking by his mum mm. and she went and bought a twenty pack and made him smoke yeah. the whole thing yeah. and he smoked cancer no he smoked oh. ever since he's nine years old. <laughs> Really? Yeah, seriously. Like didn't work that, did it? No, it went the other way, but also stunted his growth significantly. Yeah. So he's about five foot two now. Wow. He's That's been smoking fault, since he was nine. That's his own fault, isn't it? Nine. So yeah, an actual That's punishment. It. And like, if I ever see you doing that again, you'll be in yeah. trouble. Yeah. But At least the good thing is Christmas is coming. He can get them pantos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, plenty of work going around, didn't I suppose? Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's, 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 you're a bit slow there. <laughs> <laughs> There's some... Uh, some idiots there, though, aren't they? Yeah, oh, just, man, just it's... make it worse for themselves. I don't know what they do. But... I think the one at the end, they must have been probably on drugs as well. Yeah, I mean, to act like yeah, that, I mean, you've yeah. got to be absolutely crazy. The girl, the girl, the first girl, was just totally out of the tree, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. faced And mm -hmm. trying to blame her dad. <laughs> I don't think what he was very really impressed with that, was he? No. At all. No. The poor dad's all. in that situation, like the one yesterday as well. Mm. Remember when she... Yeah. The dad's turned up in a golf cart, yeah. 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 And he's like, nope, not having it. You're in the wrong. Yeah. Deal with it. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next Cheers, one. Guys. Cheers, guys.